I think it's time. Yes, it's time to bring, to bring, to bring history back to life. Cool, it's amazing. Cream of Cats TV. If you like old things, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget to click on the like button, because it does something very special. It makes you younger. If you haven't seen video part one, please check that out now. As I mentioned in the previous video, if there is one fashion item that sums up the diversity and creativity of that game-changing 1920s decade, then it's probably the headpiece, stroke headband. The fact that nearly three quarters of the original silent movie reels don't exist anymore makes movie memorabilia like these original 1920s and 1910s trade cards extremely important in preserving our movie heritage for future generations. The invention of the motor car and the aircraft transported the people to the world, but the advent of the motion picture transported the world to the people. The public have always had role models since the beginning of humanity itself, but the arrival of the movie camera catapulted those charismatic individuals into global megastars, spreading fashion trends across the planet faster than ever before. The invention of the uh, movie camera was probably even more significant than Gutenberg's printing press in inspiring the ordinary people to dream of a better life since you don't need to be able to you don't need to spend years learning to read or write to appreciate a film. At a time when a large portion of society was still illiterate, that was a heck of a big deal. Some ask me why I collect cards like these. The answer is simple. Less is more. A picture is worth a thousand words, like the minimal 140 character tweets. These cards are packed with an information treasure trove. They're not waffly overblown novels. They capture the essence of 1920s popular culture in the most economical way possible. The lack of racing car strips of all unnecessary luxuries. But unlike race cars that are designed to go from A to B in the fastest time possible, these cards were designed to last, and I like things that last. It's a refreshing change from the fickle, throwaway, get-rich-quick culture that we live in today. Even if the cards themselves evolved from an earlier form of consumerism before it lost its way. Thanks for watching my video, and see you later. If you want to be inspired to change the world, Please feel free to check out the largest collection of videos of movie trade cards in the world on my channel. Thanks for watching.